This is my dining room table that I've done about seven years ago, six, seven years ago. Uh, my style changed totally. I'm not so much into the Chevichy thing anymore, as you might uh, have seen on my pages and on my videos. So I've decided to give it a makeover and uh, do the whole uh, table because I'm not going to change the table. I, I love the junky legs and uh, I like the way it looks and it fits totally well in this dining room here in Malta. And uh, I've just decided to uh, give it a makeover, give it a new dress and see where it takes me. I'm starting off with um, some off-white and sea spray. I mixed it with the texture additive. I want to give it kind of a junky weathered look. So this is my first coat I'm doing. Gave it a good clean. And I think I will continue with my spatula and not my paintbrush because I like the way this looks with a spatula. I most probably will give it some decoupage at one point or maybe some stenciling. I haven't decided on the um, final colors yet. I just wanted to start the base coat and then see what inspires me. What you can do when you've got a bit too much, you just scrape it off and then go over it one more time. You can use a spatula, sometimes I also use the silicone spatula uh, to, I don't know if it's easier maybe to, because it's very soft and pliable. But the best thing is when it's drying to go over it with any tool that you want. So just wait until it's starting to dry. I'm using chalk paint so it is drying fairly quickly, at least on the surface. And I can go over certain areas again with my spatula and um, you know create something different than what I already have. It really is a game, it's not just putting down with paint but I really want to to have a big canvas and I can see that I've got quite a bit Paint, thick paint here that I don't want. So either I'm putting it down again or I put it somewhere else. As I said,
said, I want a big piece, and this table is very big. Well, at least for, for my, for me, for our family, it's quite a big table. And uh, oops, there it is. Something. Um, we had built this table. We had bought an old table, and the tabletop was just not salvageable. So we took it off and we just put new planks on there and I aged them to make them look old. And now I want to, to change the look of this dining room. I've got quite a few colourful things here. I've got a big sideboard which is white that I had done as well. Um, very simple, just white. And I might leave it so it's not going to be too colourful <laughs> and coloured everywhere. But to have a focal point, which is my table, and then work, work around that table to see what needs to be done, what needs to be done here. Going to continue and I'll be back afterwards. This is what it looks like when you work with spatulas. Can you see the different structures in there and the different textures. Here is where I dabbed with the um, paintbrush. Here I took some, where is it? Whoops, no. Here, I took some off. I need to go over this again. And these are my tools. The silicon spatula, plastic spatula, paint spatula, and I've got a paintbrush. I've decided to use this thicker brush paper. It's a piece of art from Modigliani. He's got a very special way of drawing his women, but I quite like them. So I'm going to decoupage this on the table and uh, I'm going to create the background um, a bit like on this paper, but I also want to lighten this up and not have the whole table in blue. So um, I've got this tablecloth and um, I wonder if I will be able to um, use yellows to go with it, just to warm everything up. And for the decoupage, what you need is um, this um, saran wrap. I've got one like this and I've got another one that I did up in a wall. I've got my water mister, I've got my um, varnish. I've got my um, paintbrushes and I've also got a roller. As this is not an even surface, you will have to make sure, I will have to make sure that this is really down and that there is no air bubbles and uh, really, really protect this because obviously this is a dining table and um, I don't want the paper to suffer um, from it with time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my decoupage. If you are looking for decoupage videos, there is loads on my YouTube channel. I always work in sections when I decoupage. I never do big areas. I just make sure that 
this glue is on there in all those nooks and well not really holes but the wood is not even either so I'm just spritzing it very very lightly I'm putting my paper down and I'm taking my brush and I'm pushing the paper down with the brush I also used a saran wrap just to make sure it is down there I would have to cut in between the, um, the wood planks but that's not a problem at all. Just to make sure that this is down, I use the saran wrap this way as well, taking my roller and I'm really, really pushing my paper down onto the surface. started blending just giving it a very slight mist and I like using my spatula just put you up a little bit down using the spatula the sides. I'm going to do some blues, the ones I can see on my paper and I like using this brayer too. just on the side of the paper so you know it kind of gets one with the paper you'll see in the very end this is just the very beginning of my blending and uh, this will need many many more layers to uh, finish everything. finish blending on this side 
I'm not finished with the whole design yet. It's just blending in the picture. I uh, most probably will use a bit of the yellow more. And I will, um, I'm thinking about using some stenciling on, on this side of the lady and uh, take it throughout the table. But first I need to do the other side. And see how that goes and then decide what I am going to do with uh, the whole thing. Working on this table, on our dining room table, and um, I think I finished the painting job. And now I would like to decide on something because something is definitely needed on this side. And uh, I've got some leftover papers that I'm moving around and will most definitely use one or two of them